Hello coffee lovers, Damien here at Tapachi Head Office doing a quick review. I'm doing the precision range of grinders, the GS1 and the GS2. So one's an espresso grinder and one's a filter grinder. And we're gonna go through the benefits and features. And I'm gonna show you how to get a very good result from a, from a very affordable grinder. So the GS2, 60 mil flat burrs, espresso burrs. GS1, 64 mil filter burrs. So a little bit bigger and a completely different burr size, uh, burr setup. You're gonna get a different result. You're not gonna get as fine with this. As you can see, the teeth are more spaced apart. This is more of a cutting wheel. This will grind a lot finer. Um, so you can't get the filter burrs to grind fine, definitely. So what I have here is the GS2 now. So that comes in white, the GS1 comes in black. So again, you can obviously change it to the single dose hopper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind some coffee. I'm gonna um, make this affordable grinder a zero retention grinder. Let's at least try. So we've got my single dose hopper. Again, all the different variables. There's rose gold, there's gold, there's timber. So many different looks. So what I've got here is 20 grams um, of coffee beans. And I'm just gonna give that a little spritz. So the purpose of the spritz is just to make sure the coffee will grind uniformly, not spray so much. So let's just get these beans in here. I've got it on, um, and I'll just do an average setting. All right, let's go. So now I've changed the grinder setting to one. And see, I get a bit more, bit more of a nice, so it's not spraying anywhere near what it did before, with just that little bit more spritz. Oh, and I'm just gonna give it a bellow as I go. You can hear it grinding there. All right, that's done. Look at that, that's decent. I like that. 20 grams, what do you reckon? What are the chances? How good is that? Nine, oh, the, the table's moving a little bit, but that's 20 grams. That's amazing, so I just made this a zero retention grinder by giving it a good bellow, spritzing, weighing my beans going in for, oh, it's an under $500 grinder. It's amazingly valued. Um, I think it's a decent product. It is what it is for the price. Um, precision. So GS1, GS2, they have another, you know, GSP or GS7, a couple of different variations in their grinder range. Um, this is decent, it's 200 watt motor and very good solid construction. It's a good look and you can make it look even better with a couple of little embellishments and things like that. It's a great added piece to your uh, espresso setup at home. So guys, um, thank you for watching. It was just a quick review, but just to show you how you can uh, take advantage of an affordable grinder and make it work and make great espresso at home. So thank you for watching.